Sorry about that. So we get weapons from our bosses, just like in Metal Gear Solid uh, 4 and 3. Kind of 3. But uh, this allows us to... And after every mission, we get to um, go through our customization screen. You get to upgrade... Um, you can buy weapons, upgrade your health, um, your fuel cells, which I highly recommend, and then your skills. Um, one that I do recommend is the aerial parry, because that's always good, and the uh, defense offense. It's kind of like a, a swift dodge kind of thing. Then I will upgrade the power strength on this one. And I actually use this one a lot too, so I'm going to upgrade the strength on that one. Just like. So oops. There. And I think I'll grab one more skill, which would be. Say the rest. In the body, there's nothing too much. Just the the where you could choose the body frames, and that's pretty much it. So you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw them a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission's to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI. They're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <laughs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection. Sneak into the lab and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. 
It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers, so you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. I can't believe Dolzayev blew himself up. Pretty common terror tactic. You don't usually see the leaders doing it, though. It's one thing to get your flock pumped up on the glory of dying for the cause, but it's not often they actually go through with it themselves. You gotta have a public face, after all. The guy who gets to claim responsibility on the evening news. In a weird way, Dolzayev showed some serious dedication. Not that I'm about to praise him for it. Yeah, still a terrorist. A suicide bomber in the end. If that's what you want to call him. Still, he kind of failed at it. How so? Well, all that explosion did was put a dent in Abkhazia's budget. More Russia's, really. They're the ones rebuilding the refinery. The coup didn't work out. He couldn't overthrow the government. He was barely a blip on Russia's radar. So, you're saying the bombing didn't accomplish any of his goals? He did it just because he was cornered? Sounds more like just plain suicide. Yeah. Probably wanted to end things with his own hands. Like a samurai committing harakiri. Still not something to be commended for, though. Yeah. Lumping him in with true warriors like the samurai just gives them a bad name. Sewers. So what do you guys think of the game so far? Let me know in the comments below. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded some content, but I hope you guys uh, don't mind. Better take out that UG quick. I don't want to attract too much attention down there. There is a collectible in here, actually. Right there. Another VR mission. Let's go ahead and see what this guy's at. You know 
wait for this guy to pass. So what do you think about Ryan's look? Super cool armor with his high heels and long nails. It is quite fun actually being stealthy in this game, I have to admit. It's not really demanded much, especially since there's a lot of opportunities that you can just go straight to uh, fight mode, but it, it is a lot. It's a lot better. Right. There is a boy in these sewers. So in this area, there's going to be gecko all over, all over the place, dwarves, little creatures. If you want, if you're doing like a no alert or a low alert. Oops. It's best if you blow them up, whatever weapons. For some reason, they don't get alerted. So. You need to see where they are. They're actually all over the uh, roofs. Yeah, just enough. That gives me this S rank. Looking out for the little guys trophy. Next area is going to be some interesting characters. If you're trying to go for a no hit run, you need to pretty much keep running around and slashing. And avoid things like that. I did grab the death. Yeah, I'm totally forgetful right now. 